people want to know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> 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 And one of these people could find her. April Cross. Emile Johnson. Chad Montanic. Today's episode, The Check Me Check Out. And this man, his special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, guys. How are you? Great. Got a lot of work to do. Let's get the chief up here. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Let's go. All right, detectives. Carmen San Diego's pack of degenerate jackals has struck again. This time, they hit a chess tournament in Hanover, Germany, where Deep Thought, the world champion chess playing computer, was busy analyzing as many moves per second. But that wasn't fast enough to evade Robocrook. Last night, at the height of the tournament, that slippery cyborg snuck past the players who were too absorbed in their game to notice him. Now, before they could say checkmate, he checked out with the computer. He plans to use it to enhance his own artificial intelligence. Here's the inside skinny on Robo Crook. His dad was a Camaro and his mom was a Petri dish. Your mission, gumshoes, round up Robo Crook. Deliver the computer back to the chess tournament, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And at the end of this round, the two of you with the highest scores will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Gumshoes, Acme Chessnet has tracked Robo and Deep Thought to a high-tech center in California. Now, we believe that Robo Crook's heading for his birthplace, which is a town in Silicon Valley. Now, it's also the town where you'll find the headquarters for a famous computer company. But, uh, of course, this being public television, we can't mention the company's name. Well, you'll just have to figure that out on your own. Good. Thanks, Chief. You, you handle those sensitive issues so well. Okay, Gumshoes, uh, name the California city that Robo took the computer. Is it Cupertino, Eureka, or La Jolla? Remember the clues that we heard? High-tech center, town in Silicon Valley, and headquarters for a famous computer company. Put the evidence together, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Everybody's done it. April, what do you say? I chose La Jolla. La Jolla. What do you think, Emil? I chose Eureka. Eureka. What do you think, Chad? I chose La Jolla. La Jolla, the answer we're looking for is Cupertino. Sorry, guys, tough break there. So that means nobody got anything on that. Tell you what, though, we'll take a little break here. We'll relax. We'll get to know one another. It'll be okay. All right, so uh, April, we'll find out about you first. You're into sports, right? Yeah. Uh, what sports do you play? Basketball and soccer. And uh, any career plans? I was thinking of looking into a basketball or baseball broadcaster. Oh, great. Welcome to the show. Nice to have you. Okay. You're into sports, too? Yes. What sports do you like? Basketball and football. And what do you like to do in your spare time? Mm, watch TV and play basketball. Cool. Any career plans for you? Mm, I'd want, hope one day to be a pro football player. Good. Okay. Welcome to the case. Nice to have you here. And Chad is into fishing, right? Yeah. Tell me about fishing. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? Uh, about 30 inches, about this big. Hey, come on, come on. Now, really, how big, how big was it? Come on. This is big. He yeah, okay. All right, all right. Welcome, Chad, to the show, guys. Nice to have you here, Chad. Okay, so let's get back on the case here, guys. Our next clue is coming in from Acme RapNet. Take it away, D Nice. Check it. Paintings by Rembrandt and Rubin can be found here. The city's below sea level and Anne Frank hid near, or should I say in, this capital of the Netherlands. D Nice once again with a helping hand. Okay, thanks, D. Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Copenhagen, Amsterdam, or Stockholm? Remember the clues that we heard? Paintings by Rembrandt and Rubens, below sea level, and capital of the Netherlands. Put the evidence together. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. April's ready, so is Emil. Okay, April, what do you say? I chose Amsterdam. Amsterdam, Emil. I chose Amsterdam. Amsterdam, Chad. I chose Copenhagen. Copenhagen. The answer we're looking for is Amsterdam. Nice job, April and Emil. 
Okay, so that means, April, you have 60. Emil, you have 60. Chad, you still have 50. Close game, though. Nobody give up yet. Now, agents, we know that Robocrook could be anywhere on Earth, so let's scan the airwaves now and see if we can pick up a clue. We interrupt coverage of this world classic rugby match to bring you these headlines. Robocrook came ashore here today onto one of Britain's oldest colonies. He was sighted at the Royal Naval Dockyard, but is believed to be heading towards Hamilton. Police in the capital were preparing for his arrival. And now, we return to the match. Okay, gun shoes, name the island. Is it Bermuda, Grand Bahama, or Grand Cayman? Remember the or Cayman, sorry. Remember the clues that we heard? World-class rugby match, one of Britain's oldest colonies, and Hamilton. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Come on, guys, trying to catch a crook here. Emil's ready, April ready too, Chad is ready too. Okay, April, what'd you say? I chose Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman. What do you think, Emil? I chose Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman. Chad? I chose Bermuda. Bermuda. The answer we're looking for is Bermuda. Nice job, Chad. Okay. So that means April, you have 60. Emil, you have 60. Chad has 60 as well. A complete tie game. Nice job. Okay, that means it's time now for the lightning round. We're going to give you a chance to try to catch some extra crime bucks. What we're going to do is, I have three questions here. The first one of you that answers any one of these questions correctly, I'll give you an extra five crime bucks. Okay, so listen closely. Here we go. The islands of Bermuda have no rivers or lakes. Inhabitants utilize salt distil uh, distillation plants and roof gutter pipes to collect a precious natural resource in tanks. Name this liquid. Chad. Water. Water's right. Nice job. Water from the fishermen. <laughs> Okay, question two. Your family decides to visit a Bermuda attraction called the Devil's Hole. Is the Devil's Hole a volcano, an abyss, or a fish pond? Emil. Uh, abyss. Sorry, it's not an abyss. April. A volcano. It's not a volcano either. Chad, you want to take a guess? Fish pond. It's a fish pond, Chad. It's a fish pond. <laughs> That'll be there later. Okay, question three. Like other British colonies, Bermuda was divided between the Anglicans and the Puritans of the 1600s. Were the Puritans primarily seeking freedom of speech, freedom of press, or freedom of religion? April. Freedom of religion? That's absolutely right. Freedom of religion. Okay, so that means at the end of three in a lightning round, April, you have 65. Amelia, you have 60. Chad, you have 70. Still a close game. Right. Here. Yeah, Chief. In my office. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be there right away. You guys stick here. I'll be right back. <laughs> My mentor calls. Oh, Greg, the investigation is starting to worry me. Now, Carmen San Diego is. Don't interrupt. Carmen San Diego is being extra tricky. Chief. Now, all right. What is it? Uh, Chief, it's, it's your face. Uh, there's one more than usual. Well, I was getting to that. Okay. All right. Now, if we're gonna crack this case. We'll need as many pairs of eyes as possible, so I've grown an extra face, and I suggest you do the same. That seems a little extreme to me, Chief. Uh, there's got to be a, a better way. Uh, I know we could offer the gumshoes a trip to anywhere in the lower 48 states. That'll get them to catch Carmen San Diego. Oh, well, say, well, that should do it. Hmm. Well, I guess well, I don't need this anymore, then. I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, good move, Chief. I tell you, <laughs> that two-face thing was freaky. I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was weird. I mean, there were nice faces and all. Don't get me wrong. But that is distracting. Go away. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, Gumshoe, still have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Remember, we're still looking for the computer and robocrook. Now, fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just provided us with a recording of a phone conversation between Robo and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Robo, those Acme agents are on to you. Head for a large industrial center in Europe. An industrial center? Thank you, Carmen. Perhaps I can make friends with the machinery. No social call, Solderhead. Just hide out. It's a river valley north of Cologne. Location acknowledged. Permission requested to seek a humanoid chess partner. You can try, but a traditional hobby there is pigeon racing. Thousands of people do it. There's even a special pigeon hospital in the city of Essen. Now get moving. Okay, Gumshoes, name the European River Valley. Is it the Po, the Moselle, or the Ruhr? All right, remember the clues that we heard? Large industrial center north of Cologne and city of Essen. April's ready, so is Emil, so is Chad. April, what do you say? I chose the Ruhr. The Ruhr. What do you think, Emil? I chose the Ruhr. The Ruhr. What do you think, Chad? I chose the Ruhr. The Ruhr. The answer we're looking for is the Ruhr. Nice job, guys. Okay. 
Okay, so that means April you have 75, Amelia you have 70, Chad you have 80. This is still anybody's case, so... Wait a minute, do you guys hear that? Hear that sound? Let's find out what this is. Oh, cool! Craig Harris, everybody, come on. Yeah. That was cool, man. That was really cool. Well, you know, Craig, that was cool, but we still need a clue is the only thing. I don't know, maybe the chief can help us. Hey, chief, you there? Yeah, I'm here, Greg. We still need a clue. Well, Greg, you are listening to a didgeridoo. It's an instrument of the Aborigine people. Now, they've been living on an island continent for about 40,000 years. And it's said that the sound of the didgeridoo calls out the ancestral spirits. Uh, but it's also a clue to finding Robo Crook. Now, search the capital city of Australia. Okay. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay. Hey, let's hear it one more time for Craig, you guys. Thanks, Craig. See ya. Yeah, I liked it. That was cool. All right, Gun says, you, you heard her then. Uh, let's name the city. Is it Sydney, Melbourne, or Canberra? Remember the clues that we heard? Did you redo instrument of the, of the Aborigine people, capital city of Australia? Everybody's got an answer. April, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Canberra. Canberra. Uh, Canberra. What do you think, Emil? I chose Canberra. Canberra. Chi Chad, what do you think? I chose Sydney. Sydney. The answer we're looking for is Canberra. Nice job, April and Emil. Okay, so that means April, you have 85, Amelia, you have 80, Chad, you have 80. Come says, look, I know we're still hot on the trail of Robo Crook and the computer. The thing is, though... Hot on the trail? That's Puppy Cook! It's my upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. Be back in a minute. Hey, Miss P. You wouldn't know a hot trail if it jumped up and burned you. Robo Crooks in the Republic of Azerbaijan. Such a famous resort city on the Caspian Sea. It's the birthplace of Kasparov, the world chess champion. Uh, I do love Gary's endgame. <laughs> now go rope, Robo. Uh. Okay, okay. Huh. Gee, I always thought it was me she loved. Okay, guys, name the city. Is it Baku, Odessa, or Yalta? Remember the clues that we heard? Republic of Azerbaijan, famous resort city on the Caspian Sea, and birthplace of chess chap champion Kasparov. April's ready, so is Chad. Emil, waiting on you, pal. He's got an answer. Okay, April, what do you say? I chose Baku. Baku, what do you think, Emil? I chose Baku. Baku, Chad. I chose Baku. Baku, the answer we're looking for is Baku. Nice job, guys. Okay. So this means April, you have 95, Amelia, you have 90, Chad, you have 90. It's now time for the final clue of this round, which means now you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll subtract it from your score, okay? Now, uh, look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think uh, RoboCrook is headed. If you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. Now, you can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks, okay? So, take a look the map and think about it. Okay, everybody made a decision. Now for our last clue, we turn to somebody who has just finished dancing on Madonna's latest video. Take it away, Nana Rap! <laughs> You're such a nice young man. I'd be happy to do some chill slamming and jamming for you. Hit it! From March to October, the brave matadors reign in this fabulous city that you'll find in Spain. For Spanish master paintings, one place has a lock. It's to the Prado Museum that the art lovers flock. 
Now, if you're feeling hungry, want a nibble to eat, try small dishes called tapas, and you're in for a treat. From the mushrooms in oil to baby eels that they fry. Those tapas foods are deaf, and the city is fly. You got the nana. <laughs> you got the nana. Let's hear from nana. Come on, nana. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I love her. I love her. I absolutely love her. Okay, guys, name the city. Is it Madrid, Barcelona, or Seville? Remember the clues that we heard? Matadors, Prado Museum, and Tapas Foods. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Lay those answers right there in front of you. Lay right down there, Emil. April, lay it down, and Chad, lay it down in front of you there, pal. Okay, we're going to start with you, Chad. You have 90 crime bucks. Before you show me how much, uh, what your answer was, let's find out how much you risked. I risked zero. Zero. So, okay, right or wrong, you get 90. What'd you say? Uh, I said Madrid. Madrid is right. Nice job. You say at 90, okay? <laughs> Emil, you also have 90. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30, okay. This will definitely put you in the lead if you're right. What'd you say? I said Madrid. Madrid's right. Nice job, pal. Okay. April, you have 95. How much did you risk? I risked 10. You risked 10. That means if you're right, then you and Emil will go on to the next round. What'd you say? I said Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona. That means you go down to 85. That means Emil and Chad, you go on to the next round. Nice job, guys. Okay. April, listen, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff today. And uh, we've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. And April, I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, listen, it's time now for you to go to Madrid. You're going to try to track down Robo and the computer. What your job is, is to find them and bring them back here. But I want you to know, we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? All right. Here's the story on Madrid, one of the highest capital cities in Europe. It's located in the center of Spain, and distances throughout the country are measured from the zero-kilometer marker by the Puerto del Sol. It's a major manufacturing center, also famous for its all-night nightlife. And locals are called Madrileños. Now, the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. The Royal Palace, built in the 18th century. It's known for its lavish interiors and gardens. The royal family actually lives outside of town, and the palace is used for official functions only. Prado Museum. Velázquez's Surrender of Breda is seen here. It's one of the more than 5,000 paintings in the collection. Now case the joint, because Robo probably has. Madrid has thousands of restaurants. An exhaustive search may be necessary, but don't worry. Most serve tapas snacks long into the night. Now take note of the tile work here. It's typically Spanish. San Isidro Festival. Now, spring celebration of the city's patron saint. Bullfights are held several times daily during the festival. Those golden doughy things are churros, breakfast in Madrid. The Tiro Park, 353 acres of greenery and water. It borders Madrid's ritziest neighborhood. Now, it's a dumb place to hide a big computer, but, well, Robo Crooks got the brains of a Buick, so search the area. Well, that's Madrid, Spain, and gumshoes, it's time to head out into the field now. So always remember, begin the crime net countdown. Five are the senses you need, four putting crooks on the run, three rounds to fight against greed, two be sure justice has won. Go get them, gumshoes! <laughs>
United States. Now, one more thing. You can pick any one of these locations that you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the one of the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Let's see, uh, Emil, you were ahead at the end of the last round, so you go first. Um, Botanical Gardens? Botanical Gardens. Nothing there, okay? Chad, go ahead. Retiro Park? Uh, Retiro Park. Nothing there, okay? Emil? Basilica? Uh, Basilica. Basilica. Okay, nothing there. Chad? Air Ministry? Air Ministry. The warrant! Okay, you got the warrant. Remember the uh, order you have to go, though. The loot, the warrant, the crook. Use some strategy, Chad. Go ahead. La Bobina? La Bobia. Nothing there. Okay, Emil, your turn. Um, Hotel Ritz? Hotel Ritz. Nope, not there. Chad? Casamingo? Casamingo. Nope, nothing there. Emil? Um, Calle, Calle Serrano? Calle Serrano. Default. Nice job. That's the loot. Go ahead. Hotel Ritz. Hotel Ritz. Oh, oh sorry. Not there. That's okay. That's all right. Chad, go ahead. Okay. Calle Serrano. Calle Serrano. Default. There's the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Air Ministry. Air Ministry. The water. There it is. You need to find one more. That's Robo. Can you do it? Go ahead. Naval Museum. Naval Museum. Nope. Not there. Go ahead, Emil. Um, Calle Serrano. Calle Serrano. Air Ministry. <laughs> Go ahead, Emil. What is it? Air Ministry. Air Ministry. And Plaza de... Oh, I'm sorry, Emil. Go Plaza ahead. Plaza de la Vila. Plaza de la Villa. Nothing there. Okay. Chad, go ahead. Calle Serrano. Calle Serrano. Checkmate. Go ahead, Chad. Air Ministry. Air Ministry. The warrant. Go ahead, Chad. Temple of the Bod. Temple of the Bod. Nope, not there. Emil, your turn. Go ahead. Um, Calle Serrano. Calle Serrano. Night takes on. <laughs> go Air ahead, Emil. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Emil. What'd you say? Air Ministry. Air Ministry. And go now go ahead, Emil. San Miguel Market. San Miguel Market. No, not there. Okay. Chad, go ahead. Calle Serrano. Calle Serrano. Deep thought. <laughs> go ahead, Chad. Air Ministry. Air Ministry. The warrant. Go ahead, Chad. Prado Museum. Prado Museum, is it there? Yeah! yeah. Chad, nice job, Pally. Okay, stand right over here. Now, you got Robo. The only thing you have to do now is put him in jail. I want you to pull on that chain and do it. Okay, so Chad, listen, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. But first, Emil, listen, man, you were a great detective. You tracked Robo all the way to Spain. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. Greg, we have a world band radio so that Emil can listen to broadcasts from all over the world. Nice work, Emil. Okay, Chad, look, uh, inside there are some top secret documents here you have to sign. Inside there's a piece of paper, a pen. What I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. So open it up and do it. <laughs> Good, good. Nice choice. Okay, so Chad, look, you got Robo, you got the uh, the computer. Now the only thing you have to do is catch Carmen San Diego. Hold on a second, can you get that? Hold on, that. I'll get this. <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah, he's right here. Yeah, it's for you, Chad. Hello? The probabilities of your capture of Carmen will be accelerated if I supply you with pertinent information. Look for her in the United States. Okay, Chad, looks like you and I are going back to the USA. Chief? Chad, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Alaska, Washington, Wyoming, New Mexico, North Dakota, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Michigan, Kentucky, New York, North Carolina, Florida, Connecticut. I feel good. Greg, take Chad to the map. This is what it's all about right here. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through seven different states, identifying each state with a marker. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. If you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. Now, if you're wrong two times, just leave the marker where it is. Don't worry about it. If you're right, though, seven times within 45 seconds, you will then win that trip to wherever you wrote in that portfolio. Sound okay to you? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. All right. Come on, Chad. Let's do this thing. Cheer them on, guys. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Cheer them on, guys. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Carmen went to Marquette, Michigan. You got it. 
Roswell, New Mexico. Carmen went to Roswell, New Mexico. You got it, come on. Dixon, North Dakota. You got it. Nome, Alaska. Oh, yeah. Carmen went to St. Petersburg, Florida. Hurry, Chad. Yeah, you got it. Carmen went to Bridgeport, Connecticut. to Aberdeen, Washington. Hurry. Carmen San Diego. Okay, bud. Stand right up here. Stand right up here. You and a parent now are going to... Iowa, let's hear it, come on. Let's get tackled. Nice job, man. What do you know in Iowa? My grandparents, that's where you used to live. Cool, all right. Now listen, uh, you've done a lot of great stuff for us today. There's only one more thing you need to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockapella!